Hey what's up guys, this video is just to show you some new features that came with 3.0 but they're not really um, big that were probably you know put on apple.com but they were little tweaks that were helpful and um, added and um, but like I said probably not put on apple or other big sites like boy genius or Engadget or something that someone who did a review on 3.0 um, so let's get started. The first change I'd like to talk to you guys about is on um, installing apps. If you guys installed an app from the mobile app store on here while you've been on 3.0, you might have noticed that they don't install where this space is here. They start on page two and they go on from there. Let me show you, um, tap into the app store here and uh, I'll install a small size app so that it doesn't take long. I will be installing Flashlight and you saw that I had the space um, the space where the um, yeah you see I had the space on my main home on my first page on my home screen and um, you know it took me to my last page over here And there it is, it's done. And um, just to show you, it's not like a little, I have a, one of those invisible bookmarks there. You can see they're wiggling and there's no X or anything. Mm -hmm. on 2.2.1 and lower, but I guess now in 3.0 they just start on page 2 and go on. Which is pretty nice because I was always moving them and stuff, so that was nice. The next little tweak is, um, has to do with the iPod. It's when you're listening to music and you... Um, you know you lock your screen obviously you know put it on sleep mode so um... yeah i was obviously listening to michael jackson so here we can do recently added and we'll do we'll do jump good song right so I'm not going down for copyright infringement. So when it's playing, so obviously do that. And just I'll play it when it's um when I'm showing you. When you have the lock screen on, I'll show you. Can you see how it's like a smaller font? And I don't know if you remember, it used to be in two point two point two point one. It used to be like bigger, like just like right under here, the size of that, but now it's small. And then when you double click, okay, so I got interrupted there, sorry. So when you double click on it, you will see it shows you the artist, uh, song in bold, and um, the album name as well, and you still get the controls right here. So that was a little tweak I had noticed. Um, and just thought I'd uh, point that out. The next one has to do with double clicking the home button. As I'm sure you guys know, the by default it's your phone favorites. So um, now, in the old days, you only got to choose between home, phone favorites, and um, iPod. But um, now you can have it go to the camera spotlight search. Um, when you double click it so there's spotlight search and the camera there as well and I have no idea why they would add home I don't know who would double click it for home you click it once it goes home why do you need you know use it for something that's useful right um, I think they should also add um, messaging in there because I know a lot of people obviously use their iPhone for mess text messaging um, which I know you can do get it done by jailbreaking but like I've said before, I don't like to add extra stuff um, than from like the stock factory settings in my phone. The only reason I jailbreak is so that I can use it on T-Mobile. Uh, so this leads me to my next one, which is um, the search results from Spotlight Search. Um, they can be edited here. You can rearrange them. You just hold it, rearrange them, and uncheck the ones that aren't important to you or something. So that way, uh, Spotlight Search um, it gets your results to you faster and um, I have some checked off here because like I don't need them like mail um, you know I don't really need to go into that 
um, audiobooks. I don't have any video. I can just tap into my iPod. I don't have to be lazy and, you know, podcast. The ones I only really need, obviously, are calendar, notes, contacts, applications, and music, and, of course, rearranging them and stuff. Another thing that got updated with 3.0 that was talked about, but I'm not sure um, exactly, would be the restrictions on the iPhone. Um, restrictions have been there since, like, 2.0, but, um, Apple added in this one that I've noticed is um, camera and uh, location as well as over here allowed content, in-app purchases, uh, ratings, movies, music and podcasts, uh, TV shows, apps. Uh, movies could be, you know, you could edit them from rated R, you know, whatever you want your kid to watch if you're a parent who like controls your son or daughter's iPhone. Um, my parents don't know too much about this, so <clears throat> I'm pretty lucky. <laughs> um, so, another tweak after this um, that I had noticed when I was, you know, just typing and stuff like that would be in contacts. I don't want to give away some of my contact names here. Um, but I will just put a black box around them. You can uh, see that it, you know, it goes in, um, context goes in landscape and in uh, portrait mode. And um, this is good for like adding contacts who have a lot of information because I'm sure you know you add a contact. Um, adding a name, phone, email, address, and field is where like everything else comes in the first name, middle name, suffix, nickname, job title, department, instant message, birthday date, notes and um, it makes it really easier to obviously um, type a name with the larger landscape keyboard. Um, I didn't notice this at first I only thought the apps that got landscape were mess messages and mail and uh, photos but I did not know that contacts got it and you know maybe you just found out as well um, and with the new 3.1 firmware that's coming out copy and paste you'll be able to copy and paste a number um, you know a number that will be like you will be able to copy and paste a number that will look like that and you can just you'll be able to hold on it and uh, it'll say copy um, if you want to get a uh, context information, for example, we'll do Google. Um, what I do for now is edit it, go in there, and, you know, do the whole select all and copy it if it's a number that I can't remember by heart or something. So that should be something that's good. Um, also now in phone, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen, because if you don't use the iPhone for a phone, then <laughs> get an iPod. <laughs> Your phone um, now shows you in uh, when you're in recents. Let's see, it'll show you. You'll see like how it says right here, Google, mobile. It'll show you outgoing or incoming. And then you tap into it more, and you can see when the called, outgoing, what time. And then right here, instead of canceled, it'll show you two minutes, an hour, three hours, 53 seconds, um, something like that. Um, and if you have a number that's like, you know, um, 234-555-7890 sort of number, it will tell you like the area code. For example, it will say like San Diego area or Phoenix, Arizona, for example, which is pretty good because in that site, um, fix the iPhone beta or that it's a site and you get to post whatever you want to be fixed for the iPhone and hopefully Apple sees it um, that was one of the things that I put in there that had requested and um, yes I finally got my wish so the last tweak that I'll talk about is located in Safari and um, I already got my little thing loaded up here now when you hold a link and you let it go you know for about two three seconds 
you will now be able to open it, copy the link, or open it in a new tab. Um, this was a highly requested feature for um, Safari Mobile, and I guess they finally listened and they, um, you know, got it for us. So those are all the little tweaks that I found in the new 3.0 firmware. If you have found something new, or you know, maybe I didn't cover it, leave it in the comments below. And uh, maybe I'll do an update soon by like firmware 3.2 or something, just to show you new features that aren't talked about big, but they're still in there. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube account. Leave a comment and rate 5 stars. Thank you.